Hey guys, it's Claudia. I know I did another video. I did another video of um, bunk bed, uh, bunk bed canton forts. But um, I kind of did some redesigning, so let me show you. Kind of did some redesigning right there. And I read in my bed and put the ladder back. And I'm going to put it back over here. And then I ha I'd move my bunk bed. Okay, so let me put it back here. But I just, I have these sides done. These sides done because I just need to do the big one because you wouldn't be able to see during the small ones. Okay. So I'm going to Build it. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you see meeting a new friend. Now imagine a new furry. Meet Gruff and Disney's Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. What are you? Gruff is an amazing creature. You take a bubble and you take a possum and you put it together. That would give you Gruff. Right? He's so cute. I've never seen any animal like him before. The cutest thing about Gruff is the first time he sees Pixie Dust, his eyes light up. You just can't help but fall in love with that face. My favorite thing about Gruff is how much he cares about the fairies. He's big and strong and he'll always look out for you. I would want Gruff to be my best friend. You can meet Gruff in Disney's Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. Now available on Blu-ray, digital, and anywhere you go with Disney movies anywhere. Rated G. Okay, we're just gonna We're here in Sly Ranch in Northern California exploring the Reclaim Garden. Hey, I'm Peyton. And I'm Sly. Around here, there's no such thing as trash. Just new containers waiting to be discovered. Look where things are growing. In a wheelbarrow, a bathtub, even a filing cabinet. And you even grow plants with boobs? You can grow plants in almost anything. Yeah, you can get as creative as you like. This place really makes you look at gardening in a whole new way. In fact, people all over the country are coming up with new ideas for growing food. Like a science teacher in New York City who's working with the students to bring exciting new ways of gardening into the inner city. Their project is called Green Bronx Machine. Like, check it out. Hi, I'm Steve Ritz, and I'm a science teacher from the South Bronx. And where I teach, kids have no idea. Uh, I forget the side fell down, so let me read. My kids didn't even know where vegetables came from. So I started teaching my students how to grow their own food, and they loved it. Before long, we started the Green Browns Machine. And lo and behold, in the South Bronx, we started a food revolution. Gardeners like these are spreading the word about fresh vegetables and feeding our own community at the same time. Here we are, 30,000 pounds of vegetables later. We've got veggies popping up in every corner of the city. We found out we could grow food almost anywhere. Under okay. bridges, on walls, in classrooms. And look, right here, four stories up. Actually, you go up there and suck it in. It's called hydroponics, and not only is it really cool, it's great for the environment. Our kids have learned how to build edible walls. What could be more cool than a wall full of food? So next time you bite into a carrot, remember how much fun it can be to garden in new ways. It's bound to put a smile on your face when you pass the plate. <laughs> your kids move, stretch, and play hard. So remember, it's the simple things in life that help them get back in the game. Any news on the Williamson case? Hey, 
you. So here's the thing. I'm really okay. wondering like, why so you can arrest me when yeah. I'm just like hanging out in the food court in the mall. Is it because yeah. you're insecure because you can't like catch real criminals, right? You're just too scared of them. So you're like, oh, I'll yeah. hang out in the mall and see if I can arrest Liz today. Is that what happened? Yeah. I'm sorry, Liz. We'll try to expedite your case. Yeah, expedite. That's such a funny word. See, I used to work here, people. I know what expedite means. We're going to be here for hours. Okay. Hey, um, sorry about your boyfriend. It's fine. I'm not really sure I liked him that much anyway. <laughs> so, how does a smart girl like you end up with a jerk like him? I, uh, I set up an online poll. <laughs> Right, of course you did. That, that sounds that sounds about right. You know, when I heard the call on the radio, I thought the suspect's description was eerily similar to a certain partner I once had. How are you, Liz? I'm so good, Ed. I'm so glad you asked. I've just been having a leisurely time off, you know, going to the spa and such. Can you please take these handcuffs off of me? Hey, what part of under arrest do you not understand? Come on, Ed. Wait here. I'll see what I can do about getting the charges dropped. You're always seeing what you can do. How about you actually do something for a change? Man, have I missed you. Okay. I haven't missed you at all. So, this is how... <laughs> hey, um... Is the chief my eye, dude. Nope. Meeting with the mayor. It's all fresh. Lucky. And this is... Mm. I can see why you like it. Now I'm gonna bring you to the this inside. Hot. What, Ed? Well, not oh, really. No, no, but, that's... No. Which side? Which side? No. This side! It's awesome. Thanks for watching! Subscribe! Bye!